In last week's video, we completed the first part of our subfloor build. If you haven't seen that one, it's available on our page and I suggest you watch that before you hop into this one. Because today, we are going to finish the subfloor. Good morning. We are going to go through our list of what we needed to accomplish today to build out our van. Step one, we have to cut our XPS foam to make sure that it fits properly into our skeleton. So all of this across the entire van is going to be our XPS foam. From there, we're going to check our cardboard template and then we're gonna trace that template onto the plywood. We're gonna cut the plywood. Then we're gonna bring that plywood back into the van and make sure that the floor looks and feels proper and we didn't make any mistakes. And then we're going to glue the skeleton onto the floor. Before we start with the foam inside the skeleton, we wanted to make sure that the step is secure so then we can bolt everything together all at once and then glue it all together at once, but we need to build that first. So let's do that. streak of needing to go to a home improvement store every single day of this build continues. I'm super stoked. So we went back to Home Depot and we got these like wood file things because we were having a hard time with the jigsaw to get it to work, which we ordered a jig jigsaw like track thing, which will be helpful. But look, I filed it down so that this piece would fit in. And then I also filed this because it wasn't completely straight, so I needed to level it out a bit, but so excited. That's gonna be strong. Now we're going to measure everything on the skeleton, the interior side of the skeleton, and cut out our XPS foam to throw in there. So let's get measuring and a cut. Okay, so it's almost nine o'clock at night and this, <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. This was, uh, I'm pretty sure step one on today's to-do list and uh, we did have to go to Home Depot, like you saw, and uh, spent a lot of time on that step, but we're chugging away. <laughs> Definitely not getting through what we thought we would, but that's okay, things take time. Probably check to see if I'm in focus. It's okay. Got that autofocus boy. All right, so this is gonna be a heart to heart, but it's pretty late at night and we got no lights and I got fire, so. I'm just trying to make a torch here. Plus, there are bugs and we don't have any bugs right. So I'm hoping the smoke would come go away. Um. We thought the foam was gonna be real quick. Like we were like 20, 30 minutes max. It, we're going on like two and a half hours because we wanna make sure everything's like tight. But then we're like, oh, we don't want it to be too tight because then it's gonna squeak, right? We don't know, we're, we're figuring things out as we go. So we started cutting it a little looser because we're gonna end up putting the 3M, or the, not 3M, the Great Stuff foam around it and let that dry. And we're hoping that's going to work pretty well. It's another late night. What is it? It's nine o'clock right now. We just had dinner. We might have had an adult beverage or two. And Katie's working and I have been TikToking for a while and that is playing with fire. <laughs> smells good. It smells like a good cigar. All right, it's 9, 9.30 now, oh my goodness. And it's officially too dark to keep working. So we got, can't even tell it's so dark. We're missing two foam uh, XPS board pieces right behind the wheel wells. 
we will be getting up very early tomorrow <laughs> to get this done because we did not get through our to-do list, but we did accomplish a lot. So we will continue on first thing tomorrow morning. Formula One starts in about an hour and we need to get as much done as we can. So close, only one piece to go. It's the final countdown. Wait, what are you doing? Putting the piece. Yeah, the last piece. Final piece. I actually don't know if it fits. Oh, well, let's, let's hope for the best. Oh, so close. Okay, so Katie messed up. <laughs> so might as well burn the van down. take all of the XPS foam that sits on the outer edges of the van, put it in, and then we can bring our cardboard template back out and test the fit. We numbered all of the foam pieces, so it's as simple as just plugging them in because all of the ribs are slightly different. Um, and by numbering them, it makes it really simple to pull things in and out. The cardboard template has been living in the garage for the past week. Um, it's huge, as you can tell. And so we're a little worried that it may have bent, adjusted it a little bit. That's why we're gonna put it back in to check before we trace anything onto our nice birch plywood. All right, so we did have a little bit of shifting with our cardboard template. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming so that it's perfect before we trace it onto our plywood. What would we do? Just add. I would cut a notch out of that XPS and use one of our spare directly onto the floor. Like east what or east west? Okay, so this knife is useless. Don't use this. What we found out is this is much easier. If you have a jigsaw, get a metal blade. So lots of teeth, and then get a drill about roughly the same size as your sawzall. And this is what you do. You cut it out. You go to your corners, pop four corners. Swab the battery out. I meant to do that. That works, get close. much cleaner and quicker than using a knife. So this is really important if you have a Ford Transit. At the rear of your van, there is a weird looking bolt on the back by the tailgate down there. You need to have access to that no matter what you do because that is the only way that you can drop your spare tire that's mounted underneath your Transit. So ours was covered by this, um, and we won't be able to use this for the wood because this is used for mounting on this small piece of sheet metal. Um, so we're gonna find something else that's going to work to fit into here. Yeah, more or less like that. So everything is test fit, and our next step is kind of quite a tedious one. Basically, I have to rip everything out. We're gonna clean it to the best of our abilities, and then we're going to start adhering everything to the transit. We're back at Home Depot. 
All right, we bought 18 cinder blocks and the gaps and crack, and the cinder blocks we're gonna use to weigh down the floor as the glue dries, and the gaps and cracks are to fill in the gaps and cracks. To attach the wooden skeleton to the floor of our van, we use Sigaflex 221, which is just a multi-purpose adhesive. And to attach the foam boards to the floor of the van, we use Loctite PL300 foam board construction adhesive. Here you can see us bringing the plywood back in as we're gluing everything to the floor of the van. There's no glue going between the plywood and the subfloor elements. It's just there so that it can support the weights that we're going to put on top at the end of the night. The cinder blocks we got were really messy and were leaving a lot of debris. So we put them into trash bags before putting them into the van. It just made it a lot quicker and a lot less cleanup the next morning. All right, it's 9.15, we're calling it a day. We glued down the whole subfloor ribs and foam board and now it just needs to sit with all these big cinder blocks and weights. And yeah, we're calling it a night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. Joe's cutting foam. We've got three hours to finish the subfloor before I head to the airport because I have a job to get to. But we painted everything last night. It should be good to go. It's just scraping that foam off, putting the glue down, screwing it down. So we're gonna get to work. We used the Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks to go between the foam and the ribs just so that we had a nice tight seal so there was no squeaking, nothing flopping around that expands a lot. So we have to come in and cut and trim down everything so everything's flush before we screw down the plywood. So we just trimmed all of the foam and the next step of the subfloor is to glue and screw. Yeah. The adhesives we're using for this stage are Loctite PL300 foam board for foam board to plywood and Loctite PL400 subfloor adhesive for ribs to plywood. We glued down all the plywood before we started to screw anything in. If we could do it again, we probably would glue and screw as we go for each sheet of plywood. That way the screws would be able to push in right away. Um, by waiting until we did all of the pieces and going back to screw, the glue started to get tacky, meaning our screws couldn't push down quite as far as we wanted. It just overcomplicated the situation. Um, and if we could do it again, we would glue and screw piece by piece. And finally, after multiple days of work and hundreds of screws, our subfloor is complete. The next stage, we'll be putting the vinyl on top, but that comes in a later video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you've seen and you wanna follow our journey, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we hope you stick around as we continue to build out our 2022 Ford Transit.